Before we start with this video, I'm going to take a couple assumptions, one that you've already purchased a map for your outdoor product, and two that you've already received the email. First thing we got to do is open that email that you received from the uh, download server and click on the hyperlink. If the email doesn't contain a hyperlink, then copy and paste the URL into your browser. That's going to have you download the executable file for your map. When you download it, the best place to place it is on your desktop. If you don't place it on your desktop and it goes to a different folder, you're going to run into an error that we're going to see during this video. Once you've downloaded the executable file, go ahead and double click on it to run it. A small window will appear asking you to download the map. Click on the download map button. This will now have the computer go out to our server and download the map content. Once it's done downloading and saves it onto your desktop, it's going to go through the process of authorizing the map. If you didn't save the executable file on your desktop and ran it from your desktop, this is where you're going to see the error. The error is probably going to say that uh, your computer is low on memory. Click OK and find where you saved the executable file and move it over to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, you can double click on the executable file again. The download wizard will remember where it left off in the last phase. So when that window opens, you're going to click on Authorize Map, and it's going to go through the process of authorizing the map so that you can load it onto your unit. Once this process is complete, you're going to have to click on the red X up in the right hand corner of the window in order for the map folder to open up. Once the map folder opens up, now you can take your Explorer's device and connect it to your computer using the USB cable provided with it. When the computer opens up the window for the hard drive, it's going to give you two different drives it's loading, the Magellan drive and the removable disk drive. You're going to want to open up the folder for the removable disk drive since that is the drive for your SD card that's inserted in the unit. Next, take the maps that are on the map folder and either copy and paste them into the removable drive or select all and drag them into the folder. Once they're done copying over, you're going to want to go to the drive letter and either right click it from the folder or go through your my computer and click eject. Once the computer notifies you that it's safe to disconnect the device from your computer, you're going to go through the process of activating the map on the unit. To activate the map on the unit, you're going to disconnect it from the computer and let it load. Once you see the map screen on the device's screen, you're going to tap anywhere on the screen to bring up the Four Corners menu. Next you want to access the main menu by pressing on the lower left hand corner button. You're going to want to access the maps menu by tapping on the maps icon. Here you can see you have world maps and detailed maps. Tap on the detailed maps name to look at which detailed maps you've downloaded. If you keep tapping on the name all the way through, you're going to get to the detail screen for that particular map. But in order to actually activate the map and show it on your map screen, you're going to want to back out of the detail screen and make sure that there's a check mark in the box on the left hand side of the icon. If there isn't one on the main detail map, tap on the box to put a check mark in it. Now the map is active. You can exit all the way out to your map screen. Now you're able to see the detailed maps on your screen. 